Okay, so did you tell everybody your name? Devon. Okay, this is Devon, my friend. And uh, Devon, I want you to just be, you know, uh, I guess the normal person um, who doesn't really know too much about spiritual warfare, okay? Mm -hmm. What goes on in the spiritual realm. And I am going to be the evil spirits, okay? And I am going to tempt Devon, okay? <laughs> just so that you can see how this happens, how this works. Um, and I have these little chains that's going to represent each evil spirit that's tempting her. Okay? Devon, I want you just to say, I agree with whatever I say. Okay? Now, you're not agreeing with it. <laughs> you're yeah. not agreeing with it. You are just doing this for demonstration purposes. Right. Okay? I just want, you know, everybody to hear that. Okay. So, I think I'll go with, I am the spirit of guilt. And you really should have just shut up when your husband told you to shut up. It is all your fault. What did you say? I agree. She agrees. Guess what? She now has the chain of guilt on her neck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see who else I can do. I am the fear of failure. Why are you trying something new? You're just going to fail just like you fail with everything else. Don't even try it. That's right. Yes, I agree. She agreed. Mm -hmm. Another chain on her neck. Okay, mm -hmm. we'll do one more. Hmm. I am the spirit of shame. Just hold your head down. You're no good. Nobody cares about you anyhow. I agree. She agrees. All right. So, and I can go through all of these, and it's possible, very possible. You remember how Jesus cast out, what, seven demons from someone? Okay, it's very possible to have all of these carrying, be carrying around all of these evil spirits um, at one time. And I'm, I'm, I did. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Thank you, Devon. Just keep the, keep the chains, and we'll bring you back up later. <laughs> Let's give Devon a hand. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. All right. So the good news, of course, this, this, this workshop isn't to um, glorify the enemy and his works. Um, there is good news there. We do have power over these evil spirits. And one of the powers is through forgiveness. All right. Okay. So Jesus juice. Let's see. Let's read the first sentence of the definition of Jesus juice. Describes the process of applying the word of God to achieve abundant life. We get to determine what spirituality goes or saves. Right, and this was very, very empowering to me. I for some reason, I didn't know that I had to say, you know, like when those evil spirits were tempting me, you know, telling me I need to put my head down. For some reason, I didn't know that I could say no, you know, that I could resist them. I, you know, I just didn't know. I thought it was just life, okay? Um, so Jesus Juice is all about empowering uh, people, okay? And it's based on 2 Timothy 2.16. Can we read that, please? And that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him to do his will. Now, who's going to recover you? Who can recover you out of the snare of the devil? That's not what the scripture says. Let's read it again. The first, the first part of this of scripture. So that they can recover who? Themselves. Themselves. So who, who has a part to play in this recovery? We do. We do. Right. 